This tutorial was recorded in 2.92 and we don't have APIC or viscosity yet. Step 1. Create an emitter object. All it needs is a face. Step 2. Go to Object, Quick Effects, Quick Liquid. This makes a domain, creates fluid physics, and gives you a decent water shader. Right after this, go to Domain, Physics, Cache, and set the type from Replay to All. Replay isn't really reliable in my experience. Every time you edit the scene, make sure to select everything and apply scale with Ctrl A. Then clear and rebake the cache. For the emitter, you can choose inflow like a faucet, outflow like a sink, or geometry to make the geometry the fluid. Substeps are setting to show up lots of times, and increase temporal resolution to stop fast moving water from phasing through objects. Enable is planar if you don't have volume, and initial velocity is self explanatory. For the effectors, you'll probably use collision the most. It's collision. Guys need to be enabled in the main, but allow you to apply an object velocity to your water. Both of them have samples and surface thickness to stop phasing. Velocity factor multiplies the guy's effects. In the domain, resolution controls the size of the water particles. Obviously, test simulations at lower resolutions. Time scale is how fast the simulation runs. This matters not only for slow motion, but also for scale. You can make a small scene and slow down the simulation so it feels bigger. CFL is sort of like a velocity clamp. The greater the number, the faster the simulation, the more the simulation skips over stuff. Time steps is temporal resolution. Higher numbers reduce phasing. Border collisions, self-explanatory, if disabled the walls of the late water instead. The flip settings refer to the flip method, a secondary sim method running along with Blender's pick method. Pick is stable, but it makes the fluid more viscous and damping. Flip makes the water thinner and splashier, but it's unstable. Blender will also soon support APIC, which is better at splashes and internal vortices. Particle settings include spray, foam, and bubbles. When enabled, a particle system will be created in particle settings. In the Particle tab, clamp values control the number of particles, and the others control appearance conditions and velocity. Do be aware, all these particles massively increase lag and can crash your computer. To reduce this, after creating the particles, don't play the animation. Go to Particle Settings and tone down viewport percent. They start as halos, which are not rendered, so you need to make objects and assign them in the Particle Render settings. Activate Mesh when you want to render. Upres and Particle Radius control the number and size of particles. Smoothing position and negative smoothing can be controlled for some interesting effects, like tears. Finally, there is field width, which control the influence of forces.